Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Nerd Math. In this video, I will teach you about Ohm's Law. So basically, Ohm's Law is formulated by a German mathematician and physicist named George Simon Ohm. Ohm's Law defines the relationship among the current, voltage, and resistance within a circuit. So we can have three forms of equations for Ohm's Law. The first one is V is equal to IR where V represents the voltage and it is measured in volts or single letter V in honor of scientist Alessandro Volta. I is the current measured in amperes or amps or capital letter A in honor of scientist Andre Marie Ampere and R is the resistance measured in ohms or the symbol omega. So another form of this equation when you solve it algebraically is current is equal to V over R and R is equal to V over I. So as a mnemonic for Ohm's law, we can draw a triangle and divide it into three portions. So we can have on the upper part as the voltage V on the two lower portion, we can have either I and R or the other way around. And with the use of this mnemonic, we can define what is required to find in a given circuit. So we need to find the voltage V. We just need to multiply the current I and the resistance R. While if we need to find the current I, we just need to divide the voltage V by the resistance R. Likewise, if we need to find the resistance R, we need to divide the voltage V by the current I. Now, let's solve some examples to illustrate Ohm's law. So, let's say we have a battery or DC voltage source with value V is equal to 5 volts and across it, there is a resistance with resistance R equal to 5 ohm. Then, there will be a current I that will flow through this circuit. So, in order to find the current I, we need to apply Ohm's law. So the formula for the current I is equal to voltage over resistance. So substituting the values, we have the voltage is equal to 5 volts and the resistance is equal to 5 ohms. Therefore, we get the current of 5 divided by 5 or 1 amp. Okay, what if I change the voltage to, let's say, 10 volt? And I retain the value of the resistance R as 5 ohms. So we can have the new value of current. So current now is equal to 10 volts divided by 5 ohms. Or simply I is equal to 10 divided by 5 or 2 amps. Let's try to change the volt again. Let's say to 1 volt and retain the value of the resistance R to 5 ohms. Therefore, we can have a new current I as 1 volt divided by 5 ohms or current is equal to 1 fifth amps or 0 0.2 amps. Okay? As you can see in this example, when we increase the value of the voltage within a circuit while keeping the resistance constant, we can have a higher current while if we decrease the voltage in a circuit, keeping the resistance constant as well, we can have a lower current flowing through the circuit. And this is illustrated in the form of this equation for Ohm's law. So the current I is directly proportional to the voltage V, where 1 over R is the value of the constant of proportionality. Now, if we try to go back to the original value of the circuit, which is voltage is equal to 5 volt and resistance is equal to 5 ohms, we can compute the current as before, as current is equal to 5 volts divided by 5 ohms or current is equal to 1 amp. Now, if I try to change the value of the resistance, let's say to 1 ohm, we can have again a new value of current which is equal to 5 volt divided by 1 ohm or simply the current is 5 divided by 1 or 5 amps. And if I change now the value of resistance, let's say to 10 ohms, we can have a new value of the current as 5 volts divided by 10 ohms or current is equal to 5 over 10 or 1 half amps or 0 0.5 amps. Okay? As we can see in this example, 
If we try to decrease the value of the resistance in a circuit keeping the voltage constant, we can have a higher value for the current. While if we increase the resistance in the circuit and keeping the voltage constant as well, we can have a lower value for the current. And this is illustrated again in the form of Ohm's law as current is equal to voltage over resistance. That is, the current is inversely proportional to the resistance. And the voltage V acts as the constant of proportionality. Now, what if it is known that the current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor is 2 amps? We can find the value of the voltage as V is equal to current times resistance. So, substituting the value, we have current is 2 amps times resistance is 5 ohms. So, the voltage is equal to 2 times 5 or 10 volts. Next, if it is known that the current flowing through an unknown resistor is 5 amps and it is connected to the 20 volt battery, we can solve for the value of the resistance using Ohm's law as resistance R is equal to voltage V over current I. So substituting the values we have, V is equal to 20 volts divided by current is equal to 5 amps. So therefore, the resistance R is equal to 20 divided by 5 or 4 ohms. Okay, so that is how to apply Ohm's law to find the current, voltage, or resistance given a particular circuit. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.